This is uh, Mason Ball. I am kind of a process guy. So anytime I find a better way of doing something or a better something, I like to share it. So uh, one thing I was sold on years ago is the um, nutritional value of grinding your own wheat and making your own bread. But I unfortunately found very few recipes that worked well for whole wheat in the bread machine until now. I looked on the internet and I found one. So here is my handy dandy bread maker, Victorio. It's got a handle and you gotta turn it. And you gotta turn it. You wouldn't think it would take very long of doing this to get enough bread or enough wheat to make a loaf of bread, but it does. It takes a lot of time. And then it'll shoot. It'll shoot out this little snout. It'll shoot. It'll shoot the wheat out, and it'll get it all over the table. So I've got this little Folgers empty canister, and I put that in front of it so I can turn the crank and not get it everywhere. So that works out pretty good. And then my old bread maker was not as robust as the one I have now. I'm telling you, I was bound and determined to find a good one. So where did I go? I went to the thrift store, just like any any man does, and I found this Panasonic baby. Woo-wee, son! This here will make the bread. I don't know what brand it is or what kind, but it works so good, you think maybe you ought to have to kickstart or pull start this thing. It works so good, but you don't. You just have to push a button. And so I got mine all loaded up. I got my uh, wheat three cups worth ground. I got one and a half red wheat and one and a half white wheat, and they're both... Organic, non-GMO, low pesticides, all of that good stuff because I'm like a nutrition freak. Absolutely. I want to keep myself healthy. Anyway, this bread maker is pretty cool. It's got a little yeast thing at the top. You put the yeast in the top, shut the lid, turn it on, and after a little while, <clears throat> you won't hear nothing because it sits and does nothing. It rests for a long time. Then you'll hear... And it's the, the bread maker dropping the yeast down and starting to starting to go. And so I guess, anyway, the recipe is three cups of wheat. You can use more red wheat if you want it harder, or you can use more white wheat if you want it softer. I think I've do it done two cups of red and one cup of white and thought, that's a pretty good loaf of bread. I've also got caraway seeds ground up through my little grinder because uh, I like that that rye taste. And then, since it's Thanksgiving, I happen to have some rosemary, so I put some rosemary in there, so that's going to be probably really delicious. Uh, the recipe is three cups of flour, uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I've been using olive oil. I've tried coconut oil, but it gives a little bit of a coconut wang. I uh, use uh, three tablespoons of wheat or honey, and honey is a wildflower honey that I get from Bread Beckers. They're in Alpharetta or Woodstock, Georgia. They sell wheat by the bucket. They sell all kinds of stuff. They're an incredible resource for all this stuff. I didn't buy the bread machine from them because I'm cheap, but I didn't. I would like to get an electric grinder. I might do that one day. But anyway, the recipe... Uh, three tablespoons of honey I've told you about. One and eight cups warm water, about 110, 115 degrees. I think if it gets any hotter, it'll make your, it'll take all the fun stuff out of your honey. You don't want that. A third teaspoon of salt. Now, my old bread maker seemed like it said to put the water stuff, liquid arrangement, at the bottom and then the wheat on top. And we never had a good loaf of bread out of that. But this one says different. It says put your dry stuff at the bottom, which is the wheat. So I do that, and then I take my warm water, mix the vegetable oil in with it, olive oil, and then also the honey. Stir it, stir it, stir it, and put a little salt in there and stir it, and uh, pour that on top of your wheat, and then close the old door here. And then put your yeast up there after you turn it on. Or you can put it on before you turn it on, but then you won't be able to lift your lid. But you can lift the lid because it's got a flapper on it. But this is a really good bread machine, and it makes really, a really nice loaf of bread. And so, Panasonic. I've never been disappointed with a Panasonic product that I've gotten 
And this was the best one I could find at the thrift store. And they had like five of them. Like people really are off of bread these days. But I think bread is really good and it, it holds up my peanut butter. So I like it.